Hello, hello everyone. I could not have picked a worse time to press live. I still have my builders here um, doing our stuff to the sides of our house. Um, so there is banging going on on this side of the house and just outside my window I have uh, the drop saw I'm assuming going because that's what it sounds like. Hello Jane, how are you? Hello Glenda, thanks for joining. Hey Susan. Oh, everyone's here. So hello. Now that it's a bit quieter, my name is Ellen Woolbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. So I am on the central coast of New South Wales, which is about an hour north of Sydney. Hey, Carol, how are you? Um, so today, um, today I am here making some gift card holders. So um, I was shown this really cute gift card holder by my upline. I Look, I'm just going to continue to apologise. Can you guys hear me okay over the noise? Hey, Linda, thanks for joining. Um, so Linda Dalkey, my upline, um, she showed us this as a make and take that we did together at a recent event. Um, it was all online. So, but my poor little bow keeps on undoing and I can't do it up, but that's okay. Hello, Sylvia. So that is what we're making today. Good. I'm so glad you can still hear me above the builders. I love the builders. They're amazing father and son, um, but um, yeah. It's just noise. So I hope everyone had an amazing weekend. I had my cousin's 21st, um, which was in Sydney, which was nice to catch up with the family. I haven't seen any of that family in over a year. Hey, Shaz. Shaz, I'm always impressed that you're here in the middle of the night. Hey, Jenny. Long time no see. Um... But yeah, so I hadn't seen them in about a year, a couple of weeks over a year because it was a significant birthday for one of the elders in our family last year. Um, so I did that, hung out with a whole lot of my crafty friends on a Zoom across both days, uh, which was very nice. And I got all my catalogs, all my catalogs for my customers. Thank you very much, Jenny. Um, hey, Melissa, I got all my catalogs for my customers are in the mail and all my team's Christmas cards and Christmas gifts are in the mail as of about an hour ago so i'm very happy tick 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 now i'm just writing my christmas cards i'm really late this year i'm feeling very disorganized but i'm starting to feel better after i'm ticking big things off my list um so my christmas cards are getting written i'm here with you guys having I went out shopping. I bought a very inspired this morning by Ruth Trice. I went and bought a gnome. Um, she made some really cute gnome peg things. I missed the start of the video. Um, but gnomes, they are so, so, so cute. And I got gifted a gnome last year. That A gnome that you sit on the edge of a shelf and its legs dangle over so i had to buy my gnome a friend so i was gifted a gray gnome hey barbara gifted a gray gnome um but i bought a red gnome to be friends yes my lovely woodettes are always amazing a stampin bud a stampin bud about ellen what are you trying to say cindy I'll just ask. But anyway, um, so yes, so a couple of new things. If a couple of new things have changed here with Facebooks, it was gnome or gonk. It was, was it a gnome? What's a, what's a gonk? What's a gonk, Shaz? I need to be, I need to be um, educated because I don't know what a gonk is. But I think I bought a gnome. 
but I may be corrected. I may, I may be corrected. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, that was, that was a week, eight days ago. Eight days ago. Feels like much longer. A lot's happened in eight days, but that's okay. Um, so you may notice as you come in a notification about stars. So um, a way of supporting me here, because I know a lot of, of you are demonstrators or... Are... Yes, long time, very long time no see, Ruth. Okay, they're gonks. They're gonks then. Thank you for the education. They're gonks. They have no eyes. Um, well, uh, so stars here on Facebook. So I'm live on Facebook and stars are enabled. So you can gift me stars, which cost you money, and then I receive money. And it's a great way for everyone, it, those people who would like to, to support me who can't um, purchase uh, products through my store because you're in another country or you're a demonstrator. So I really appreciate those gifts. And over on Facebook, they're called Super Chats. Um, and this video will eventually go up on YouTube as well. So um, that is a way of supporting me and I appreciate those who are able to do it. And as my gift back to you for supporting me, I am going to be creating event an event every month where you get time with me. So we hang out on a Zoom and... It's your guys' choice of whether we hang out and chat, whether I show you something crafty, show you a... You guys can push me. You, I could do a technique I've never tried before and we can have lots of fun. Lots of fun watching me stuff it up. But anyway, so it's me gifting you time um, as a thank you for your gift of support via um, stars. On Facebook and Super Chats on YouTube. So um, anyone who supports me in December, I will be doing um, an event in January. So that is happening. Uh, we still have our Eden Garden suite happening. Now I'll be using the papers and the embellishments today. Thank you Shaz, I appreciate that. Um, I'll be using the papers and the embellishments today and the papers and the embellishments finish on the 3rd of January but the stamp set and the dies which I'm not using today, I'm not using the dies but they will continue in the new catalogue but this is the last project from my November classes. That's how crazy life's been. I haven't even showed you all the projects that I did as part of my November classes. So some of them I did in customer classes. I know it actually matches the red in my leggings. But yes, it is rather festive. Um, yeah, I'm still wearing leggings because, you know, it's only mid-twenties today. It's not terribly hot. But I thought I didn't want, I wanted a short sleeve shirt. And I just went, oh, this red one's nice and light. I had to go to the post office. David got his hair cut. I had to go to the $2 shop, which is where I got the gnome because I had to get some plastic sleeves that um, they've got huge ones there. It's fantastic. I love $2 shops do these more specialised things now. I had to grab one thing for lavender at the chemist. So that was all in the one shopping centre. Ooh, flannel. Well, that'd be way too hotty. We are in the mid-twenties, which is still very spring weather for summer. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. I've got Bermuda Bay. I've got Poppy Parade Real Red. I've got Mango Melody and Blushing Bright and White and Black. I'm not going to show them to you. But, and they're ladybugs and butterflies and flowers and... They're a bit busy. They're a bit busy. Okay, so let me get set up here and I will continue to apologise for my builders, but we're gonna do this, okay? Because they're not they're not they're not using the drop saw the whole time. 
Okay, so if I go press live. Now, if you if you don't know if you're watching me live or not, if you've got this side, if you've got the live button, no problems, Jenny. Good afternoon, Brenton. Um, if you've got the little live button in the top corner, that means I'm live and you can interact with me and hopefully I'll see your comments and interact. If you're not seeing that live button, I'm just not live. But please do leave me comments because I'll still interact with you. I want to talk to you. I want to say, hey, how are you going? Do all of that. So, yes. Okay. I can now see my video. I think I'm on mute. Hello, Mr. Linda. How are you? Oh, I'm so sorry, Jenny. I did miss a comment. And now that I've got it up in front of me... I can see, oh, sorry to hear about your kitty cat. Sending love. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday today. I think I did send you a card, so hopefully you did get that. Hello, other Linda. How are you? So, sorry, thinking. So it's a gnome and a knot. Now I can't think of what the other one's called. It's not a gnome. It's a gnat. No. <gasps> what is it called now? A, a gonk. A gonk. I'm going to have to get that in my head. How did I not know? Shaz, how did I not? <laughs> not a hog, Sylvia. A gonk. <laughs> how did I not know there were two different names? How? I don't know how I've gone through life and not known that there's a gnome and a gonk. Mind blown, like seriously. I don't know who I am, what I'm doing, that I didn't know that gonks existed. Oh, my pleasure, Barbara, my pleasure. I couldn't quite work out what was, what was being said there. So, laptop over here. I thought I killed my laptop on the weekend. It's all Louise's fault. She knocked out my power supply. So I'm sorry. Otherwise, we're going to have an avalanche on the floor. You didn't know either, Brenton. Okay, so gonks don't have eyes. Gnomes have eyes and gonks just have the nose. Because I bought a gonk today to be friends with my other gonk that I received as a gift last year. So that's what we're doing. The things we learn, the geese and they go, all good, Sylvia, all good. Look, I'm saying things wrong. I've got noise. You're typing things wrong. It's just all happening. So let's do today is I am going to be making a gift card holder for my mum because it's her birthday, the 2nd of January. And she made a request of some gift card holders. Of Sorry. She made a request of gift cards. So she can go and choose something at Bunnings. So Bunnings is a local big chain hardware store. Um, where you can get all the things. Yes, clearly, Brenton. We've both learned something new today. So if you didn't know and I didn't know, Brenton, it mustn't be widely known in Australia. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Okay, I think I'm pretty straight. We are all good. I'll go turn off the light. I can't close the door because i got power cables coming in, but I'll turn off the light. something I was going to grab over here while I was over here. And I thought about it just before I went live. I went, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll grab that. And I didn't grab it. Okay. I think, hello, Jeannie. I think I'm also probably, you've never heard of a gonk until just now. It must be a UK thing then. Sorry, girls, I'm having... No. Still doesn't look right today. 
don't know what's going on. I think it's a difference between... Okay, that's how we're sitting today, guys. That's as good as it's going to get. I did just want to zoom you in a titch. So, the original gift card holder that I made, this is using some brand new upcoming product. So, the designer series paper on this is the Heart and Home designer series paper. This, thanks, is, I want to say, from Hand Penned Petals. And we used some of the metallic um, foil paper and the gorgeous denim ribbon, which is coming back, and the cork, which is sadly going. So she also, Linda, my upline, also rounded the corners. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of rounded corners. And then we did this on the inside. That's where the gift card goes. And then we did a place to write and all of those things. So then I thought, ah, oh, this is something really, really good for this time of year. And obviously we've got the belly band as well. I thought, oh, there's something great for this time of year because, you know, I know I'm giving away a number of gift cards myself. I am so sorry there. I don't know. I thought I was on mute. But apparently I am not. And I will rectify that. Mute. I'm on mute now. Okay. Rightio. So... I wanted to use Eden's garden so I made some sending hugs ones and I have used straight corners but you can choose what you do and then I have created this one using Eden's garden and just using that so I'm going to show you because this should be fairly universal with sizing because I'm assuming our credit cards are all the same size or our bank cards, gift cards, they're all the same thing, same size. So what I have taken, whoops, and I feel I'm going to sneeze. Ah, good. It's gunk. Okay. American friendships. That's very, very interesting. Oh, I'm so glad. But gonks aren't a real thing. They're mythical. Hey, Angie, sorry, I've totally missed you there. I'm going back. I've seen Delinda. Okay, I'm back to real time. Back to real time. So I have taken an A4 sheet of paper. Fold it, uh, cut it in half lengthways. So it is 10 and a half centimeters wide. And for all you inches people out there, I'm assuming half of your what's half of your a what's half of your leather size paper in inches? So I have just it's four and an eighth inches. So your card size is four and a quarter, I'm pretty sure. So that should work no problems at all, right? So four and a quarter inches should work fine, where half of ours is four and an eighth, okay? And then I do have some score marks in here. You can't see them because I'm using Evening Evergreen. So the score marks... Uh, at three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and nine. Okay, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and nine. I did not make this up. This is all copied, cased, the whole lot. Okay, so half lengthways, score at three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and nine. And just pop that. Does it please tell me I'm not the only one that has this ruler from what was it called? I can't even think. You had to go into a room at convention. I can't even think what it was called. 
But yes, this was from a Stampin' Up! event where you could go and buy things. Memento Mall. That's what it was called. Memento Mall. You could go and buy all manner of wonderful things. My poor husband listening. I'm having to explain this gnome gonk thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cindy. Okay, so starting at the end where we've gone three and a half, I want to score, I want to fold up. Okay. Now, do I have, I don't even have the blank one. I do have the blank one made, but I don't have a blank one. Then I want to score down. I want to fold down. Okay. And I'm going to burnish. And this is my easy one. It's not my nice smooth one. Oh, that's better. It's not my dirty one. Then we want to fold up. And we've just created a W. So I will show you. That we have created the W and that is going to create where our gift card goes okay and then with our top flap we just want to fold it over the top and give it a score now a couple of the guys that I made these with they went do you know what? I'm not going to make it into a gift card holder and they were just going to keep it like a gusseted purse and they were going to put some lollies in there like for a cut, two or three Ferrero Rochers on a glue dot would fit really nicely and they would be really yummy. Okay, you did a little research, right Brenton? Let me read this research. I'll pause this. Is a gong written? Gongs are essentially festive Scandinavian gnomes, a Nordic like interpretation of Santa Claus, if you will. Um, oh, 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 hold on. Uh, with just their nose and beard peeking out the Santa hat, not only are they cute, gongs are said to protect homes throughout the festive season. Um, so it's worth having one or two of them around. Well, I now have two, so I am well protected. Hello, Mr. Bobby Boo. How are you? We're just talking about gnomes and gonks. Let's see what Bobby says about that. Okay, so that is, that, that is the gift card holder. Now, to seal it and create... So as I said, you can have this... And put your little Ferrero shares or even Hershey's Kisses would uh, be a nice width in there. Um, so you can do that. But I am going to make a gift card holder. So I just want to open this up again. And I want to grab, and of course, it's not there. Hold on, bear with. I've just got to find... find my tearing tape that is not helpful so I'm going to be really really cheeky yes I assume it is Bobby Fort Alicia he's just not actually typing and caught talking I'm assuming you what have you started indeed Shaz what have you started you have 11 gonks Oh my god, I only have two. Only have two. Bobby, say hi. Oh, I'm so happy you can join Carol too. Um, I will apologise for my builder's noise in advance. Um, but yes, so just not in the middle, but on the very edge. I just want to put a thin bead of glue, um, tearing tape will work. I think stamp and seal is a little wide and we just want to fold this over. So hang on. I'm just go so we've just got we've just got that now 
done and I'm going to just grab a block and I'll show you why. So then we have a pocket for our gift card. Now I remember what I was going to pick up while I was over there. I was going to pick up a gift card. So just let me get up. You're finally here, Deborah. You've lost sound. Oh, sound is back. Yay. Okay. Cindy, was it, was it Bobby? Was it our Bobby that joined or a different Bobby? I'll take any Bobby. But yeah, just asking. Clarification. Ow. Ow. Sorry, I've got very sore foot at the moment. I don't know what I did, but it's sore. Hello, Michelle. Okay, so <laughs> movies. God knows why I got given this last year. So you've got a pocket for your gift card. Okay. So that is going to be the first bit I'm going to show you how to do. Now, you can use a couple of punches. But these are the two punches that will work really, really well. The Fancy Me Label Punch and the Everyday Label Punch. I think I'm going to use it every day. I did use the Label Me Fancy for my blank one over here. So... This is this done. Whoops. Whoops, the dates. Okay, so that is now adhered. I just left the weight on so I didn't have to do it. Ow, Angie, our Bobby Cindy. Okay, he must be watching and not being able to type, or I'll just call him rude. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I walked around the house. And it's like I've jarred my foot and it's all like going, mm. but anyway, I still got around the shops and did everything. So you can, you really do need a card of some description when you're doing this. So I'm just going to, you can pop the card there and eyeball it. So I'm putting in the folded part into the punch. So we're going to need a bit of muscles to absolutely um to absolutely do it um sorry i'm just my computer's doing things yep it's me well it is my right foot actually it is so i'm going to pop this in and i just want to take off a slither now we're going to have to do this a few times so then I think you can get away with it twice okay so so you've got your half that I've done and I'm just going to go in and do it again Okay, they flew, but you can see now I have that area and then I can take my card and you guys can watch exactly how special I am. <gasps> I didn't quite get it wide enough, so I'm going to take, it doesn't matter which end I take it off really, but I just need, this is why you need... A card. Do you know what? That is probably just enough. Although I did cut it a little. So you're cutting in to create the pocket, which is why you only adhere one end. No, I need to take a bit off this end now. So this is the fiddliest bit. get my tongue in the right place everyone okay right take five 
I still have like a blister blood growing out from my toenail forever ago. Okay, so there you go. My gift card fits in perfectly. So I've got that. So essentially, our gift card holder is done. But it's not because we need to decorate it and make it pretty. And we're probably going to put... I oh know, I'm always sending my mum hugs, especially today. My mum's probably very, very sad today. Um, her best friend died this morning, unfortunately. It was expected, but it doesn't help matters. Um, I spent a lot of... Um, a lot of school holidays out with her and her, mm, how oh no, and her um, nine children. Um, they live in the country, so I used to spend a lot of school holidays out there with them. Um, and sadly, she passed away this morning. this way. I never remember which way they go in. Oh, doesn't want to go in, guys. I mean, not that I lock my punches very often, but the lock is... Oh! Hang on. See you, Cindy. Oh, you enjoy that. Don't buy too much. Okay, that is in and that is now fixed. Yes. Hate it when the lock comes out, but you've just got to be kind with it and um, a titch forceful. Well, I have to probably be more forceful than most. Than most. So what I have done, I have cut lots of pieces. So we need three of this, this side piece or we need to actually we need like that one and I don't want that one there I want this one there so I'm mixing and matching with what I want I also have a piece of plain white that I'm going to put here and then I want a piece to go under our flat. Yeah. And now my gardener's here too. David, can you go out and talk to Mick? Da Mick's here. Uh, out the back. Right. It's all happening here in the Woodbridge household. God help us. Right, I think now I need to have a drink. I've got many surprise. Yeah, my surprise too, Cindy. I'll express, expect Costco goodness. Okay, radio. That feels much better. Okay, so I've got that one done. And I'm going to grab my other one. And I've got all these bits. This is how I used so much of my, um, oh, I forgot. I've got that inside piece as well. So I've got to do the inside as well. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay. Oh, they're out. They're up the back. Okay. So I've got that piece, I've got that piece, I need another little flappy piece. Um, I do like that one. How much are you guys loving the Eden Garden paper? Because it, it's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And I'll just need to find, oh, do you know what? I've even got another one here another one here that I've already partially made as well because I showed I showed the belly band so I shall remove 
that belly band and you can see ah oh, that's where my other gift card is huh <laughs> couldn't i knew it was in one of them okay right and i have i think i'm going to use this piece on the inside as well okay i just need to get gluing because this is all kind of hurting my head at the moment too many pieces everywhere no fun No problems, Brenton. I will see you later. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, I d I'm going to see if I can go out to the funeral. Uh, they live about five hours away. Um, we can do a day trip because there'd be three driving adults going that can share the driving. It's just I can't afford a night away at the moment. Um, just time-wise. I just really don't have the time for a night away. Um, so, yeah, that's, um, yeah, I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see because obviously I'm friends with many, well, all of her children because we all kind of grew up together. Um, so we we're all friends. Good evening. Glinda, I thought you popped in earlier. Did you pop in and pop out at the same time? Okay, so just gluing these in. This is the fun decorating bit. So it's just making all the panels pretty and making the recipient feel even more special than receiving just a gift card. Because sometimes people go, you've just given me a gift card. It's not just a gift card. This is a card with a gift card that has a special place. Okay. So this one. So I've just done them probably a quarter of an inch smaller than each panel. So there's no there's no great there's no great um, measurements here. It literally is just a bit smaller on each side and let me see yeah they, those two look really really nice together so what haven't you opened angie ah oh, you're using yours lots oh the paper you have you need to open it and use it angie because it is gorgeous like it's the gorgeous specialty paper so you get gold foil on each PC I love that one oh except that's not the side I'm using I'm using the B side so every piece has gold foil and um, yeah, every piece has gold foil and the other side is a coordinating less um, busy pattern so it's just a bit more of a, a neutral okay that's that done without our stamping panel but that's okay okay now let's do this and then I will show you how to do the um, I'll show you how to do the belly band and then we'll get on to the stamping I have too many bits so I just want to use all the specialty sides sides but sometimes they can get a bit busy can but we shall see oh no problems Glinda oh he has to help you yes the papers feeling very unloved do you know what? All my new supplies for the new catalogue are feeling very unloved. One of the reasons I had to go to the shops today, besides the fact I needed to post stuff, 
is that um, I needed to go buy those plastic sleeves. So then I can take, oh, the plastic like baggies because I have to take my um, retiring paper out and replace it and open the brand new paper. So then it feels loved and special because that's what we do. We make our supplies feel very loved and special. Okay, this one. So Cheryl, how are your boxes going? For those that don't know, Cheryl's in the middle of making a bazillion boxes and um, I'd love to know how they're going. Because um, I got my big things done Cheryl mightn't have heard, but my customer catalogs, Christmas card, and all of that are in the mail, and so are my team gifts, and I've started writing my local Christmas cards. My overseas Christmas cards were already written and sent because they're a bit important, um, but my local ones weren't. Okay, what have I got here? I have, oh, I already have a sentiment ready to go. Okay, so we have both of these. I'm going to pop them to the side. Now I'm going to bring in our elements for the belly band. So I have, it doesn't matter what size strip you have for the belly band. I mean, obviously, you don't want your belly band as wide as the gift card holder okay which is half of it's half of your um your cardstock lengthways okay so half of your cardstock lengthways in half and then you score at three and a half four and a half five and a half and nine i've now got those committed to my memory okay so done that done that that's fine belly band so I have a strip of designer series paper I just chose a very nice um, evening evergreen pattern because I've used the lighter patterns on the other panels so I thought this would be a nice contrast so I've put many dots because this is going to be bent and we just want to do this so i'm just making one with you today even though i have more blanks here i may um gift them to some people and say hey make a gift card holder okay so that is done i'm going to need to let this dry so what i might do in the meantime is get my stamps ready for for our stamping so i have our big one for the middle and i really love this one because it's got dotage on it so whether they're berries or whatever i just like the dotage on it so I'm going to do that and I will need Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! You ditched them? Oh no, Cindy. Cheryl, no, no, no. Oh, Cheryl, I'm so sorry. Yes, thank you so much, Brenton, for the gonk research. I shall now never forget this live for that. So for my mum, look, I want to do... Hang on, will a hello there fit in the punch? This is the problem. Where is the smaller punch? They were both here on my desk. Here, there, no, there's here. The hollow there will not fit.
bit, which is, must have been why we were using sending hugs. So I could do the yet let's celebrate everything because that is also a pretty good, that's a good birthday and this will be for mum's birthday. Okay. And I've had everyone here today, the plumber, the gardener and the two builders. Very, very busy. It's all happening. Okay, so I have my three stamps. So this now should be to a point where... No. Yes. No. That's another blank one. Oh, my God. Okay. So what... No, that's not the one I just did. That's the one I just did. Now, gift cards. We want to make sure we place the gift card in here because we want the belly band to not be too tight. So make sure it's in here. Ideally, this should be attached as well. But hey, that just ain't happening today. So this is our piece that we have. I haven't put a piece of paper on there. I did have that piece of paper. Right, let's rectify that right now. Still got the lid off. No, that's the wrong size. Don't mind me. La, 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 la. It is in here. Because I really right, made a mess to the side. My brain is kind of there going, oh my God, you're not going to find anything, but that's okay. It will get all bundled together in the end and we will be okay. Okay, so just want to adhere this one here. Right, now we can do it because we're closer to having the right amount. Yes, see? Pretty finish off. I was, oh, Delinda. Oh, you're not talking to me. I was going to say, Cheryl, I was there. But Delinda was missing. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to press over our fold. So I've just given that a press. And then because I didn't press that straight, I just press it onto itself. And I don't want it like bone folded tight. Okay. And then we go again with the other end. Okay. So that's that. But what I'm now going to do, I am going to use some Stampin' Seal Plus end. Oh, everything's falling over. I'm going to put some Stampin' Seal Plus on the inside here and on the outside here. So then when it folds over, we've got two places where it's going to adhere. Now it doesn't matter that this is this is going to be this um, fold is going to be covered over by our sentiment. So we've got the gift card in there. This doesn't appear too tight. It's just my hands are being my hands and special in all kinds of ways. And then this just slides on and off. But I will now remember. No, I'll keep the gift card in there. That's fine. Right. Stamping, stamping, stamping. So I have two card centers. And I just want to. So I wanted to leave enough room to write. Just one inking and just a reminder, these are distinctive stamp sets. So when I ink 
pick it up with the family darking. You're gonna say, Ellen, that's not it. It is. Watch. And you get a beautiful dimensional image with a single stamping. It's amazing. I love it. I love distinctive stamp sets. So um, when they're when they're made, they have different levels of um, perfor. It's almost like a perforation, but they do have different levels, and that creates um, the different layers. So it does look three dimensional. So that's those two done. You are not going to get the pleasure of me cleaning stamps today. But I'm just going to pop that to the side. I'm going to do two of the Let's Celebrate ones. David's being loud now. You know, why doesn't everyone just join the club in my house of being loud? Hello, Glenda. You are catching me live. Oh, Delinda, sending huge hugs your way. My love, we would have brightened your spirits. But I understand not feeling up to being there. Okay, let's celebrate everything because that is the perfect sentiment at the moment for so many things. And we are going to use... Oh, I stamped it. I stamped did it the wrong way. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? No, we're all good. Let's celebrate everything. Because this would be perfect and this sentiment especially would also be perfect for like a coffee gift card, like a Starbucks gift card. Not that locally here we actually have um many starbucks but yeah i am making a mess today i am i am but that's okay that's okay you don't come here for cleanliness although it was neat and tidy before i started i'm just putting it out there it was neat and tidy before i started because I had moved all my Christmas card stuff onto the my my little four foot plastic table is up next to me at the moment. Life has come to that. Although the last couple of days, because I've had I box all my projects up, so they're in little boxes. That was a plumber calling me, but I can't talk to him. I'll call the plumber back. It's okay. If he just pops around, we're here. And you know, what's another trade person at the moment to my life? I, Cheryl, you better believe me. Really. Okay, I'm just going to cut off this excess because this is still a great scrap piece. Perfect. That goes in recycling. That can go up there to go in scraps later. So label me fancy punch is amazing because you can also make these into tags with the little dot punchy. So you can put the tag back in, or you can have a ribbon slip and have the ribbon have the um, label punch be um, a slider on the ribbon. I don't know why I put away that ink. Oh, I didn't. It's over here. Okay. I can't work out who's making what noise outside. Sorry, I did go quiet there. I'm trying to work out who's making what noise. It's like a funny, I don't know what noise. But anyway, okay, so we're just going to add some greenery to the sides of this. Doesn't matter if it goes over the sentiment really because, um, because it doesn't. So that's that one done. And then I've got to punch out. 
gravy on the way. You know, matching pairs looks lovely, still legible. So, stamping all done now. I just need to grab my brushed gold and rose gold metallic paper to get two backing pieces although i've already got one but anyway i'm just making two okay gold and rose gold okay so if anyone's wondering what the rose gold actually is is actually very very pink the rose gold okay i'm not going to get a piece out of that so going to have to grab oh, I think this is my last piece of gold I think I'm correct this is my last piece of gold that's how much um, that's how much I've used it it's not so fantabulous with die cutting but it is wonderful with punching and cutting I will warn you it just has a particular film on the back that just makes it not great for die cutting so you can see here I'm being uber economical and trying to use every not leaving much scrap at all look at that for economy like really can't complain about that but I will just snip off these bits that are definitely rubbish put the punch away so that's the everyday label punch and I'll put my scrap piece back in the packet and I definitely want to use up some of this uh, rose gold so pretty and there are so many things in the new catalogue that oh i have ideas for this in the new catalogue well you've just got two new packets angie it is rather pretty and being six by six it's nice and easy to handle up ah, i worked out what the sound was the guys are um trimming the hedge that is just there I can't see because there's no window there, but yeah, they're just they're trimming it up. Okay, some dimensionals. So I've got lots of. Uh -huh. I'll finish these couple because I had a big project. I need uh, custom cards, so I've been, as I said, I've been uber busy making. I think I made thirty five customer cards and oh, they're so cute so you saw um some processes of me making them i took them to the hospital and did coloring and david did the um embossing on them and what else and then there was just lots of assembly but it worked really really well but felt like the project went on forever because I was doing it in a little chunky, little chunky, little chunk there. And I, yeah, bonkers. Drove me bonkers. Just because I like sitting down like we are now and just getting it done. I thought I was fine um, not getting things done in one sitting, which I am. But I think there is a limit to how many sittings I am happy to for a project to go on for and this one was just way too long i know right angie it's rude isn't it ah uh, thank you cheryl i thought you'd be impressed okay so we're just going to pop this on with dimensionals no that is not even in any way shape or form and these two these two punches were pretty much made to layer in each other they just work so well together and they did come out at very 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 separate times in the catalog so they didn't come out together but oh, they just sit so beautifully together 
Okay, right. Got this. So what I want to do now... Yes, I did use dimensionals as well. Sorry, we're now going to have the blower going. Oh, today, really, it is a day. You know what? One dimensional on an angle might just do this perfectly. So sorry about this, guys. Now, I don't know if we actually need ribbon on this. On the other two that I made, I have used ribbon. I'll show you. Well, this knot is half undone, the bow. It was meant to be a bow, but it's not. It's not. So, if you don't want to be disturbed during one of my live videos, you can put your phone in Do Not Disturb. But you've just got to remember to turn it on when you finish the video. Otherwise, you'll sit there for days and go, no one's called me. Hey, workers, knock off the noise. I know, right? Don't they know this is our time together? Very, very rude. So, gift cards, because I have two. We're going, oh, do you know what? We've got to put in our panels, our stamp panels for us to write. To mum, happy 50, no, 60. <laughs> My mum wishes she was 50. Um... 60 how old will she be she will be 64 i'm 42 turning 43 yet yeah, she's turning 64 64 young years i know laurie the gold paper is stunning and very 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 easy to work with so I've written Dear Mum, I've put in, it's actually two gift vouchers, but the two gift vouchers will fit. Close it up, and you've got to tell me if you think I need ribbon or not. And just slide the belly band on, and she will find somewhere she wants to go to dinner. It won't go on now. It's being very stubborn and rude. Okay, hold it this way. Right, there we go. I don't think I need ribbon. I think that is totally busy enough by itself. But you tell me while I find my other one, which is over here, and I'll finish it off. You like the added ribbon. That's okay. I can do the added ribbon. It's just I must use a glue dot so it doesn't actually. I might pull that one off. Okay, I'm now finished with this glue. Recap it. And I've got a card to put together, but I've done all the elements. I just need to pop it together for a family member. She went, have you got a religious card? It's like, I have a religious card. But I have written on all my religious cards, but I have all the extra wise men that I've been um, colouring at karate. I'm actually really sad. Karate's almost finished for the year. Which means I miss out on my crafting time at karate. Just a smidgen older than mum. Well, my mum is a young mum. I was at my mum's 21st birthday. There are photos of me there. I was less than a month old, but I was there. Okay. And the second one. So there is a gift card and everything in there. Now, Cheryl wants ribbon. Cheryl shall get ribbon. Okay. Right. 
ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. So this is the gold shimmer ribbon. And this is very sadly retiring because it is gorgeous ribbon. So this can be found with the Blackberry Beauty Suite in the current July to December mini catalog. So it can be found right there. scissors that was a little bit too easy that just works so well today yep that one's good i might make the next one a titch smaller if i can i mean it's soft ribbon but it's not like it ties well it's not as quite as easily manipulated than other ribbons that i have so what I do, I make the bow and then I just pull and tighten and pull and tighten and then do final tighten when I'm totally happy. Now, if you notice, I'm not actually pinching it at the end because I do want the, the loops of the bow to have some volume. Ideally, what I would do is pop my finger in there, but my hands no longer do that. So I just pinch it as close to the knot as I can. And then I kind of, I kind of fluff, fluff the loops. Just, just what I do. I know. Autocorrect has been terrible for you all today, actually. Okay, so, I mean, be between all our gnomes and, oh dear, we have had a session. And look at that. So, have you ever made a gift card holder like this before or am I showing you something new I probably should have asked that of you at the very start but uh, alas I did not okay so I'm gonna pop that there I'm going to oh my dear word off right and to pop that one there and the bows for Cheryl there you go Cheryl there are your bows and this is the original using um, the heart and home paper and the retiring cork so that's using that What's similar? Uh, similar, but not quite so beautiful. Oh, you're a keeper, Cheryl. I'll keep you. Ah, awesome. Well, as you saw, easy to do. Easy to do. So half. Hang on, I even have a piece here because, as I said, I did have extra packs. And now the stuff's going on the floor. So half of your cardstock so mine is ten and a half your guys will be four and a quarter scored at three and a half four and a half five and a half and nine but i will put a blog post up things for the bows well i i can single bows without the sides on i can tie like really easily the other ones i generally do use a pair of tweezers but my stopped. Uh. Okay, am I back? Hopefully I'm back. Hang on. One second. Oh. 
Oh, my dear word. Comedy of errors today. But that was Mr. Bobby calling me for a chat. But I'm on live. He should know this. I know our gonks and our gnomes. And, yeah, we've all had a lot of fun. I am back. Yes, it's all Bobby's fault. We'll blame Bobby for interrupting the live broadcast. I just had to get rid of get rid of his um, call on my iPad. So, but that's fine. I am back. I did not mean to do that. It's rude people who didn't realise I was live. So, I did use the Eden Garden. Eden's Garden stamp set. Oh, I didn't get the embellishments. 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 Because these are the gorgeous garden gems. And weirdly, I'm going to see if this comes up on screen. Right. These are just rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. So... They say these are cherry cobbler, but I see a lot of green in them, and these are definitely like a blue green. So it should be get your actual take your pick tool, Ellen, that is meant to go with this. I'm just gonna pop a little has to be on the right angle though. A little something something in there I think that's cute I think that's cute my pleasure thank you girls so much for coming on and supporting me I do appreciate the bling is gorgeous and this is also while stocks last so we've used the garden gems we've used the gold and rose gold paper and we used the ever eden designer specialty designer series paper so if you do want the paper the gems and there's the cotton paper as well they are while stocks last um, you can get the early release stamp set and dies and they are available right now in my online store. On Thursday, I'm going to be on a little bit earlier. So be sure you are checking out Facebook and Instagram for the notification. I'll give you two hours notice of when I'm going live. And I'm going to be playing with the um, delicate baubles dies so i've already played with the dies but what i've got left i'm going to be making into a really cute project even though i don't need any more christmas cards they're going to be really cute to put into next year's bundle or i can even make some christmas decorations so come back on thursday and i will be live to show you those projects then so thank you so much for joining me guys i'm going to go and return my plumber's phone call and hopefully he will um, be coming back to fix my filter although he said he was coming back tomorrow morning um, my water filter because it's leaking which is a bit of a bum but that's okay i will see you on thursday on youtube and don't forget to pop over and subscribe and hit the bell over there so you get notifications of when I am live. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Have a great couple of days, guys. Bye.